Where does the space come from for the transient journal? From user DBC. DBC holds all the system catalog tables and DBC the user. And DBC is responsible for all the space in any transient journal because that's a system task that is automatic. People say to me all the time, Tom, can we turn off the transient journal? And I go, why would you want to do that? This is for your protection, protection of the data warehouse. When you have billions of rows in a table and thousands of tables, you've got to make sure that not one row is corrupt or in a sense, users could lose faith in the data warehouse. And so making sure that data integrity is perfect is a must, but there's one way to turn it off because it does take time. It does take space. And look at this example here. The whole purpose of the transient journal is to roll back any record row that's been a problem. So here we see that we have an employee table east, an employee table west, and if we wanted to combine them in one table, if we inserted the first into the table, since the table started empty, there'd be no transient journal because it's easy to roll that back. It started empty, there's a problem, empty it out, say there's an error. So if you are using an empty table to start with that you're loading to, there's no transient journal. There's also no transient journal in any of those load utilities. So that's another reason to use those. That's another story. But in this case, take a look at this query. I am going to insert into my empty table, select everything from employee east, union all, select everything from employee west, and guess what? Good news. No transient journal was ever used. The table started empty. And then when the transaction's done, we've saved ourselves in many cases, hours. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.